Tetrodotoxin is another type of food-based toxin that affects patients. In here, the classic scenario is going to be a patient has gone to eat fugo, which is a special type of food or fish from the puffer fish that's prepared by expert Japanese sushi chefs. In this particular flashcard, we drew this gentleman here, who is a zombie, and the flag on his raft has a serpent and a rainbow on it. So those of you that are fans of horror films remember Wes Craven's film The Serpent and the Rainbow where there were several people that were turned into zombies using a zombie powder that was actually containing tetrodotoxin because it was made using the puffer fish. For here I wrote the classic scenario is the tourist goes to the fancy Japanese restaurant and wants to get fugo but unbeknownst to them the chef that's the expert in preparing this meal called in sick so the busboy filled in. After consuming the particular fish, usually puffer fish, but also can be from globefish, balloonfish, blowfish, toadfish, newts and salamanders, and the blue ring octopus, these particular animals are known as tetrodotoforms. They're the ones that carry the tetrodotoxin. And after consuming one of those organisms, mostly from the fish, the patient's going to exhibit a constellation of symptoms that includes headache, diaphoresis, salivation, drooling, fixed and dilated pupils, dysarthria, paresthesias, and paralysis around the mouth, facial numbness, and then an ascending flaccid paralysis, so it will start from below and ascend, that could potentially cause respiratory depression, and then cardiac collapse. The mechanism of action in this particular poisoning involves the tetrodotoxin, which acts as a sodium channel blocker. It will cause initially the facial paresthesias, then the ascending paralysis, which will onset within 4 to 12 hours. And the treatment for this particular toxidrome is just going to be supportive, including ventilatory support. So if the patient starts to either lose control of their airway, they'll be intubated, or if the ascending paralysis comes on rapidly and then the patient is at risk of diaphragmatic paralysis, they'll be intubated and ventilated for respiratory support. The tetrodotoxin, as seen here on the grill cooking up the meat, is found predominantly in the puffer fish, but it's most concentrated in the intestines, liver, and ovaries. So here's the intestines, liver, and ovaries of that particular fish. To illustrate the cartoon and add a little bit of humor, we drew in here a dentist who is basically pulling the teeth out of the patient saying let's give us one of those extra teeth of yours and it's because the patient will have some facial numbness so we're making a bit of a joke there and to quote one of our famous rappers grand opening grand closing